Installation Procedure for Insulation Piercing Connectors on Covered Conductors In this video, you will learn how to install insulation piercing connectors on covered conductors. Note, please use proper tools, procedures and personal protective equipment to avoid injury. Also ensure you follow these safety precautions. Let's start by identifying the correct type of IPC. In this video, we will be installing two types of IPCs. Type 1 IPC used for covered to covered connections. Type 2 IPC used for earthing connections. Type 1 IPC creates branch or tap connections between two insulated covered conductors without removing their insulation. It is used to continue the line near the pole for tapping or creating network connections for extending the covered conductor system. Earthing IPC grounds covered conductors to the earth during line maintenance or to clear fault conditions. Next, please ensure you have these equipments and tools for proper installation. Selected IPC as per your application. Ratchet spanners or torque wrench. Insulated gloves. Finally, inspect the worksite. Ensure the work area is free of obstacles and meets safety regulations. Ensure the IPC matches the conductor sizes, main and tap, as specified by the manufacturer. Now, let's go through the steps for installing the IPC for earthing. Step 1. Preparing the main cable. Identify the main covered conductor for the IPC installation. Align the conductor with the main slot of the IPC, ensuring it fits in the IPC without stripping the insulation. Loosen the shear nut slightly if needed to accommodate the conductor diameter. Step 2. Tighten the shear nut to secure the IPC. Use a ratchet spanner or torque wrench to tighten the shear nut. Tighten gradually and ensure even pressure distribution. Continue tightening until the top small hex head of the shear nut breaks off, ensuring a secure connection. Congratulations! You have now installed the IPC for earthing connections. Next, installing the IPC for cover to covered conductor. Step 1. Preparing the main cable. Identify the main covered conductor for the IPC installation. Align the conductor with the main slot of the IPC, ensuring it fits in the IPC without stripping the insulation. Loosen the shear nut slightly if needed to accommodate the conductor diameter. Step 2. Preparing the tap cable. Select the tap cable, also known as the branch conductor, as per the system design. Insert the tap cable into the tap slot of the IPC. Step 3. Tighten the shear nut to secure the IPC. Use a ratchet spanner or torque wrench to tighten the shear nut. Tighten gradually and ensure even pressure distribution. Continue tightening until the top small hex head of the shear nut breaks off, ensuring a secure connection. Seal the open end of the cable with end caps. Ensure the cable end is fully sealed with the end caps. Congratulations! You have now successfully installed the IPC for cover to cover conductor. I hope you now have a clear idea about the installation procedure for insulation piercing connectors. If you have any doubts, reach out to us on our website access-india.com. We have a team of 50 plus engineers ready to help you design and install your next covered conductor project. You will find our AB cable and covered conductor accessories installed in rural electrification projects all across South Asia, Africa and Latin America. Our automated in-house manufacturing unit produces over 50,000 insulation piercing connectors every single day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about testing and installation of AV cable accessories, covered conductor accessories, lugs, connectors and other electrical engineering topics.